Hey everybody, it's JY Tino here, bringing you part two of Mario Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. All right. As we left off, Princess is captured, made a new friend Goombella, and her weird professor Mr. Frankly, and we're off on the adventure to find the crystal stars. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? Oh. What's up, baby? Why don't you hang with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what's a fine-looking Goomba doing with a tubby mustache man like that? Excuse me. Oh, it is so, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute, seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get another way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Mario does not want it. All right. Let's do some more combat stuff. Can't flee the fight. That's fine. I don't. I don't want to flee it. A Goomba, a shiny. Oh, sorry. A Goomba, a shiny Goomba, and a para Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the spiny Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who'll take damage. The Paragoomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach him. You'll have to jump for him. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like a Goombella. Don't forget that. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Hmm. Actually, yes, let's switch the order. I want Goombella to go first. And she's going to head bonk the normal one. Boom! You're out of here! Alright, and I'm going to hammer the thorn Goomba. Or the spiny? I, I already forgot. He just told me and I already forgot. I'm so ashamed. Fuck. And she also has the title ability, so now we're going to learn about his health and stuff. Alright, boom! There's a Paragoomba, basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, and defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up and it'll totally plummet. Alright, I think I'll do that! Yahoo! Jump on the Goomba! And there we go! All right, we want to fight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now they go, cowards. Ha! Huh, later on, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So, if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. Yep, there's a whole mechanic in this game of first strike. If I attack the enemy before entering the battle, I get to get a free shot on him. But if he does the same to me, then they get the first shot on me. So, it's all gonna be perfect timing and avoiding fights that I don't want to fight in. Because obviously certain enemies will be stronger than me. Whoop! Boom! See, jumped on, got a free attack. And he's only one, so he's out of here. Get out of here. I'm sorry, I'm going to probably keep singing that song. It is such a catchy song. Also, sometimes when um, you beat the enemies, they also uh, leave coins or items behind. So make sure when you, uh, you do your thing, try to look behind you and see if you left anything. So I hope you all are having a good day today. I'm having a... I had a busy day today. Had a lot of uh, meetings and briefs. Uh, talked to advisors and whatnot. And, oh, uh, well, I fell in the water. Really got to learn about a lot about myself today and uh, got to um, think about what I want to do uh, later on down the line. Kind of take some opportunities to improve myself and increase my skill set. But at the same time, I want to make sure to give you guys this awesome Let's Play. Make sure you guys can see the entire story. And, oh, got a mushroom! You got a mushroom! A good, a feel-good mushroom replenishes 5 HP. So this is an item. You could use items in combat, too. And, okay, it's... 
I guess it'll answer it for me. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your heart points. Press start and choose your item from your gear screen to choose your items or see your items or whatever you want to do with your items. They're your items. Something will pop out of this block if you break it open. I wonder what you'll get. Ooh, a fire flower. These are really good. They're really good, um, area of effect abilities. Area of effect means it attacks more than one enemy at once, which is really awesome. All right. Oh. Okay, bye. I hate these things, so I'm only going to fight one of them. I don't want to hit them. There you go. I got them. Ah, oh, there's two of them. Gross. Yeah! All right. I know they have three HP just because I fought them before, and I don't like fighting them. But I'll make sure to use Goombella so you can see their health points too. There we go. Let's line that up, and there we go. There's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. I mean, I guess everyone's made out of paper here. So, I mean, is, are they really that different? It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee Alright, I didn't give it the hee there. Alright, well, let's jump on his face. Nope, I messed up. Alright, Goombella, time to save the day with your devil head bone. I hope I don't mess up. There we go. Ah, but I don't know where these enemies come from. Super annoying. Hate fighting them. But that's okay. We did it. And I'm just gonna... Oop! Oh, heart piece. I want it. Uh, leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. Okay, we made it. No, okay, hit the button. <laughs> I love that whatever happens in this game is paper involved. This is so funny to me. It's such a funny game. Alright, now let's go over here and we're gonna find ourselves a chest. Whoa. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the hero of legend! A me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else nothing. Oh, that's a cool! See, long time ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat! I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you've got a hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out definite. By the way, the key looks like this. It looks like a key, that's why I skipped it. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? Hmm. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. I like a being the legendary hero. I'm gonna let him out. Boom! You got a black key. A strange black key, but what could it be for? Probably exactly what we just went to. Alright, now we gotta take the long way back up. There we go. Now let's go set up, free this person inside the box. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You brought the key? Yes! Oh man, I owe you big! Alright, let's open it. Yes! Thank... Ha! Thank nothing! Whee! Fools! Uh oh. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. What? Do you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Buggly wuggly woo! Your curse. Whee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! <laughs> Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee! 
Oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe you to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on the airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y and then BAM! You're a paper airplane! Alright, we're a paper airplane now. The worst part of the curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing! So be honest, isn't this the curse? Isn't this just the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Well, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to us, but I don't want him to say it to us again. Yes, again, it's terrible! Oh, no! <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> Alright, well. So, uh, wow. Just, wow. What was that guy's beef? And honestly, it's not really a curse. It kind of helps us. It gets us to places we can't usually get to. So we go over here, and boom! We're a paper airplane! And now we can get over long distances without having to climb. Alright. Time to go to the big dramatic point of this game. Oh. Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that! Is that the uh, Thousand Year Door? It's a Thousand Year Door spoken of in the legends! I can't believe it's real! So the legends are all true! There it is, big as life! Come, let's move closer! Alright, hold on. There we go. Um, oh, too close. Hey, what's the deal with that weird pedestal, huh? What do you. What could it be, you think? Uh, I'm gonna step on it. Uh-oh. Something super spectacular is about to happen. Professor, what's going on? There's one of the crystal stars. That was some pretty cool effects. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! And what was all those crazy lights? It appears that information relative to the locations of the crystal stars appeared. Mm -hmm. This is a map. I'm looking at the map. But I do not know how to read, so I'm just going to keep nodding. In that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, you should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I guess we'll go back to his house. Hmm, aha, I see! Okay, that was interesting. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Mm, no thanks, I'll show it off later. This is very important. You better listen, I mean it. Are you ready to listen? Mm, no thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the... Wow! Astounding! This map is a radar-like functions. It now shows the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called the Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? 
Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map, anyway? I got it in a letter. From Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? Did you just draw that picture? Are you saying it with your words, or...? I mean, yeah, that's her. Oh, yeah. oh yes, it's her. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two, go! If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Pe Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Okay, let's go. Wait just a moment. Oh, it's Professor. You got Power Smash. Hammers a single enemy using a lots of attack power. Mario, it's very scary out there. Take this with you. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you first equip the badge. Would you like to practice equipping removing badges? No. Stop asking me stuff. Are you absolutely sure? It's the last time I'll ask. Do you want to practice? No, leave me alone. Stop asking me questions. By the way, you need flower points to use a flower power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal meadows. Man, that guy sure can talk. Alright, let's go to Petal Meadows. And I missed the pipe. And there we go. Alright. Hey Mario, what's the deal? You didn't equip the badge Professor Frankly gave you. If you don't equip the badge, it won't do anything for you. Equip it before you forget. Fine. Alright, let's go to badges. Equip the power smash. And now we can hit the hammer even harder if we want to. Alright, I believe we're going this way. I don't remember. I don't remember which way to go. I think it's this way. Yes! Airplane power activate! Form of an airplane! And there we go! And I'll just, uh... That thing's kinda soggy. I'm just gonna hit it. Bloop bloop! Ouch, that hurts! Ooh, I'll give him an accent. What accent will I give him? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Who just up and whack someone's twixies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache. Saucy? Well, you, sir, are sassy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Oh, tentacles. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Franklin told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee the fight. That's fine, I don't want to flee. Let's step on those tentacles. And let's get um, good old Goombella to tattle on. Alright, let's learn something about him. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one too. Ugh, it's all slimy. 
I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S. Gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, and defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and house all that slimy, nasty blooper. Oh, I guess you didn't block that one. I am not good at blocking blooper attacks. Alright, that's one tentacle down. Get him, Gubella, with your head bonk attack. Alright, let's see if I can dodge a tentacle this time. Nope, I am just getting slapped by a tentacle. Alright, no, yep, there he goes, he falls down. He's stunned. Let's get him. There we go. Laying down the hurt. Give him the old power smash. See, now with that badge, with that attack, I do four damage instead of just two. Oh, he's getting back up. But luckily, it's still our turn. So let's, uh, let's finish him off. All right, Goombella, get a perfect head bounce, and we're good to go on to... It's Petal Meadows, I think it's not... Yeah, I think it's not bad. And then Petal Meadows. Oh, there he goes. Bloop. Uh, you'd think the, you know, the squid would go underwater, but why not? I guess just, yeah, fly into the sky. Oh, stop falling in the water. Okay, good, you made it. Alright, onward to our next destination. Let's see. Oh, we're starting a brand new chapter. Chapter one. Castle and Dragon. Ooh, we got that nice little music there. And here we are. Yep, nope, just keep looking around. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo! Here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure is this is completely awesome. Alright, well, I guess I'll just move a little bit. And... Oh! Oh my. Whoa, what was that? Oh, uh, is that a... Wow, Mario, look! The suspense... There it goes. It's a dragon! Maybe that's why it's called Castle and Dragon. Because there's a castle and a dragon. I mean, that's just my guess. I'm not certain. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Frankly said this place was peaceful. Wow, crazy. We just started and it's already this intrigue. Come on, Mario. Let's go. Yes, let's go. But before I go any further, I think I'm gonna call this an episode. We got a lot done. We found where the crystal door... Well, no, the Thousand Year Door. We found the location of a crystal star. Made it to a new location. Fought a blooper. Found a dragon. Found a castle. And... I think it's a good place to stop. So, uh, without... I'm gonna save here. And without further ado, I'm gonna... Hope to see you guys next time.